Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert, and today I'm bringing you to a, uh, I was going to say drop list. It's not a drop list video. Uh, today's video is going over a sort of drop list, I guess you could say, uh, but we're going to be going over the North Face collab that is going to be occurring for this week. Now, I'm slightly late in uploading this because I've completely forgot about the clocks changing in America, and yeah, uh, because of that, obviously the news is then out an hour earlier uh, for the EU or for the UK, and yeah. I forgot about that, so let's get into this. Uh, I wish I hadn't forgotten about that because I was awake at the time, so yeah, uh, let's get into this. Okay, so like I said, obviously I am a little bit behind. So yeah, with that in mind, let's just get straight into this with Supreme working with North Face on a new collection for spring 2022. The collection consists of a Boltoro jacket, a mountain pro jacket, a base layer, long sleeve top, a short sleeve top, a mountain pant, a chugark. 16 uh, backpack and smith squad mag goggles i won't read through the rest so let's just get straight into this a lot of pictures so let's just take a look with an open mind because i'll be honest no one posted any photos but their opinions uh, weren't the greatest i will just say that to say the least so they weren't the happiest people i'm just going to do like that until i see on my screen that it's like an actual piece in the end. So the first piece is going to be the Summit Series Rescue Boturo jacket. Camouflage colorway and obviously Summit Series normally embroidered there. Yeah, it's that 3M reflective because that's what the material looks like. I'm guessing from the first photo where it was reflecting then yeah. Uh, this colorway I actually will be honest in that I like. Um, I get or I can understand why people aren't so you know like you know, I was gonna say huzzah, but that's like hooray for something like this. I get that. Um, I understand it. And it's purely because the fact that normal North Face collabs sometimes have a little bit more to them, I suppose, than just like Supreme on the back of it. Uh, I can I f like fully understand why people aren't too massively like entertained uh, by this jacket specifically. Uh, I do think that the blue colorway is nice pink see sometimes pink can work in the case of like burberry it definitely worked in the uh, leather collar uh, trench coat because clearly judging by how it's done on the aftermarket clearly people liked it pink in a jacket i don't think i've seen too often from supreme where or in general where it does well afterwards but you never know maybe north face can change that Got a black colorway, obviously standard. So four colorways is an overall. See, from a like further distance, pink doesn't look too bad. I'll be perfectly honest. But if I was going to say any, I'd say like the royal or the blue colorway and the pink, black, and then camo last. More so black and royal, I think, are the two more like wearable uh, colorways. But I can understand why people are a little bit underwhelmed. But I don't know. I don't know how to judge it. I don't know whether I'm just feeling like eh okay or whether i'm feeling underwhelmed the supreme with like the 3m to it is okay but yeah i don't really yeah there it is see so that's cool you know but why a plus sign i've completely just understood i'm an idiot because it's the rescue Boturo, and that's the sign, isn't it? I'm sure it's like on rescue teams and things like that, that they have normally, or typically it's like a circle, or sometimes it's just the plus sign, but it's a circle, which is like red, white, and then red uh, circle on the inside as well, that has a plus sign to it. I completely didn't read the rescue parts, so that's why. Okay, I understand it, yeah. And because it's reflective as well, it helps when people are searching for individuals because it will reflect off of it. Okay, so that's the theme we're going for with this. So obviously, it's it's got a purpose in that it is still like a North Face Supreme jacket. But it's got a purpose beyond that for those who want to wear them and use them in more, you know, dangerous terrain, to say the least. Yeah, I understand that now. Okay. Uh, I also just clocked that it has Supreme North Face there, which I don't think I've seen that often on pieces for it to be inside the actual hood i mean it has it has a purpose now so i i see that pink i don't know it might actually be a good colorway so see there are two sides to it that royal is really nice though it's really nice colorway it's a really clean colorway that is 
I hope it like stays the same or like keeps the same in hand when people see it because I hope that, that looks as good as it does online as it does in hand because sometimes you look at it online you get it in hand you're like oh god <laughs> what happened but yeah this is obviously the uh, mountain pro jacket which I, I don't know that pink colorway there's something about it so yeah the same sort of thing for these colorways or for this piece I still think that blue and black or royal and black are the sort of more so wearable tones but Royal and pink are definitely the two that I, I like a little bit. Obviously camouflage would serve its purpose if you're going like trekking in the woods or mountains and things, you know, it has its uses. So yeah, uh, let's move on. Obviously they're going to show reflective as well. Yeah, okay. I understand the full point of this piece now. So before someone types up, you know, saying it's res it says rescue, you said rescue, you know, the point of it is rescue. Uh, yeah, uh, we've then got the mountain pant. Uh, with the belt that's already there or pre-existing belt to it. So obviously the same sort of thing, loads of pockets, loads of use. That's also, they show the inside or is that just the belt? I was going to say is that for like uh, overalls or like coveralls to hook onto, but maybe that's just me. Uh, but yeah, I still think that probably the like royal and the black colorway are going to be the best too. It, it looks nice, still pink, and camo's okay. Uh, obviously, you've also got a zip going up the leg with two buttons that clip it together with Supreme uh, North Face. Basically, that's clearly going to be like an inside pattern or an inside design going all the way throughout it because that's how you can see it, obviously, or you can see it in the end, so yeah. And the reflective, obviously. We've then got a base layer long sleeve top. See, that's that's not actually that bad, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I, that royal colorway is really nice. Black colorway is cool, because it's the standard, like, sort of tone. But that, that royal and that pink are really standing out for me. To be honest, even if people aren't a massive fan of this collab, I'm fine with it, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day. We've got a short sleeve top. I don't like that word when it comes to Supreme, because top normally means more expensive, because it's not a t-shirt. So... The, the label doesn't look like that. The label looks like one of the standard like t-shirt types. But when you say top to me and supreme, I don't like those two things together. Uh, design's different and yeah, let's see how it looks on the others. Got plethora of colorways at least. The pink in that definitely stands out a lot. Also this lighter uh, tone. I wouldn't call it olive so much, but a lighter tone of that. Uh, White's okay, black's okay, but definitely probably the central three, the more vibrant sort of tones, uh, stand out as an overall for me. I wouldn't be looking to pick one up, I'll be perfectly honest, but that long sleeve top is a bit tempting. We've then got uh, the backpack, which is going to have the exact same thing to it. Yep, exact same thing. I still think that the royal colorway just stands out so like much in that. Pink does as well. Camo looks a bit better on this, and obviously black is the standard colorway. There's the reflective. We've then got the Smith Rescue Goggles. Uh, Smith and Supreme have had quite a few uh, releases over the years in the end. I remember my brother uh, having a pair of the goggles and listing them. I still have the photo on my phone, I believe, because I took his like listing photos uh, back in 2015, I believe it was. So I'm gonna have to scroll a little distance on my phone. He was listing a load of things at one point. And he was like, can you take the, the photos? I was like, yeah, sure, there it is, 2015. But yeah, there you go. Uh, so from 2015, uh, I took a pair, or took a pair, took a picture of, of a pair of his goggles, uh, of the Smith ones that he was listing. So yeah, uh, they've got they've got a long standing history, I suppose, in the end. Uh, but they're obviously rescue goggles. They look cool, blue colorway, yeah, again, I'm still backing. Pink stands out a little bit more, but the blue royal definitely stands out a lot. And yeah, there's the reflective to it as well. So. Obviously, that's going to cover uh, this North Face collaboration. I can understand why some people are like a little underwhelmed and why some people have said that the goggles are like their highlight piece. Personally for me though, I've got a North Face backpack so I don't need to be persuaded. I don't need a t-shirt like that. But a top like that is quite nice. I hope that's not just me, uh, but I'm quite intrigued by this colorway and I would possibly have it for the personal, yeah. Obviously there are other pieces and the jackets, I, th I think as an overall, they'll probably get a lot of uh, bad rep 
when in the end, obviously I can understand people being like, we just want a North Face collab, you know, to wear or whatever, or to top like the prior one. I get that, but at the end of the day, they also have to sometimes release things that have a purpose in the end. Purpose of this is obviously still a Supreme North Face collaboration, but it goes beyond that with the type that they have chosen. Uh, so yeah, they've obviously done that for a reason and I, it took me a few minutes to realize that. But yeah, as an overall, I think that the, the Pro Jacket is nice. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the Volturo, I'll be perfectly honest. It's not, it's not my sort of piece. But yeah, definitely the long sleeve top, the goggles and the uh, Mountain Pro jacket, I would say. But those are just my opinions, obviously. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, what you think of this collab, whether you're going to leave it be, whether you're going to go for something, what it might be, what colorway, what size. And yeah, other than that, I hope that you have a good day and I will see you all next time. Peace.